So, replacing these uh, thingamadoos. Don't forget these are reverse thread if you ever do your own. And you need a special thread. <laughs> For this one you need the like almost centered, slightly offset little things. But you can buy the whole kit for like 80 bucks nowadays. to try to get some grip on this thing. It's like, mm. I have some rag stuff between the engine bracket and the upper timing cover because these things, when you pull the magnets off, they can help out. Might have a little bit deep.
All right, so here's ooh gosh, here's the thing that went bad. Car purrs like a mother truck and kitten. Now he says it's actually the best he's ever ever sounded. He feels like. Um, so here it is. The let me see if I can. Uh, All right, so on the old ones, this and this thing would just pop out because you could just do that. And then it would just go into the camshaft and then it would just like kind of bounce around and then you get cam or timing faults because it fricked the timing up. And then there's this piston in here, which comes out eventually. And then, so this is what's being pushed on, essentially. There, here's the piston. And then, so here's the return spring for it. Just chills on the back, so when that magnet, the magnet pushes on this end of it, it goes and then the spring pushes it back. But you can see, see this one's fine. I think this was the exhaust one. You can see in here, this these bottom holes, you see these silver windows? They're none are missing. But if you take this one, and you can see, see how close I can actually get here, that this window is all broken right here. There's a hole, there's a hole there, and it's other, there's another, it's cracked right there. And I found these actually, these pieces in the oil change, I feel like, when I did the oil change on it. Found a bunch of big chunks of metal, but it's just like some, I don't know what exactly it is. Yep, can I get it to rush the way apart? That's so good. It's pressed in. But yeah, so if you are getting your, uh, uh, um, just, um, okay, yep. So if you're getting a bunch of, uh, no, yeah, no, okay, out of focus here. There we go. Um, if you're getting a bunch of cam, uh, try to put the fault codes in, uh, I think you sent it to me on Messenger. So I'll get those, I'll put them into the description so hopefully this pops up for people. If you're having this issue with your GTI where it either stalls out, or runs like crap, or sounds like crap, you got timing faults. Blah, 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 blah. This happened on the Mark 62, so I'm surprised that it's happening on this already. But he has 150k, like I said before. So, alrighty then. Um, be working on the Audi. I tore the engine out already. Um, let me see. Actually, a little bright light. I tore the engine out already, and I just didn't record that because it just me essentially just wrestling it for about an hour. <laughs> I need to get one of those engine tilters so I can, you know, uh, like for pulling engines. Uh, because, because uh, I'm really tired of, I guess I don't really need it. You have a lot on this one. Um, but yeah, I was, was a bad man all the crap out of it. And uh, so, yeah, that's out. And then I'll start stripping this down. I'm gonna take a bunch of this, I'm pretty much strip everything down, I think, to nothing and just replace every single gasket. I gotta look through the car and see what gaskets he actually has. And, so yeah. That thing is just a dirty nightmare. Look at all this. 
this is the good engine too. Look how much muck, muck there is here. So I think I'm gonna strip, take a bunch of pictures, strip it down, and then just take everything to work and throw it in the washer tank or pressure washer. Um, I guess might as well just make it nice. Throw the tranny in the trunk and pressure wash that off too. Uh, cool, that uh, wraps up this video. Like I said, the next one will be probably me tearing this engine down. Um, it's pretty old school. Not a lot of people work on these AAMs anymore. Most people are trying to do 07Ks. So you can get them so cheap right now. You literally get like a long bar for 150 bucks. And if we can make them like, you know, help. There's the uh, 07K, 07K project Facebook page. If you go on there, there's a bunch of people on there trying to get them to fit, mostly in Audis, B5s, B7s. Um, but if you could fit them in like 240 SXs, or it's just the problem is the chains in the back, so it's real pain in the butt. But if you can fit them like in a 240, or uh, like we're gonna try to do the Miata, <clears throat> I'm not gonna try it, we are gonna do the Miata. And then if we just get adapter plates and come as a big unity, we could uh, make these things <clears throat> 200 horsepower right out the gate. I think that's what they get. And um, non turbo, and it'd be a nice little ripper. So, whatever. All right, so that ends this video. I will see you guys on the next one.